Today we're going to talk about an incandescent bulb and an LED bulb. I won't leave that one on for too long, because um, as you know, with an incandescent bulb, most of the heat loss is straight through the bulb, so they get very hot. Um, with the LED bulb, um, you're saving a huge amount of energy. In this case, this is a 2 watt bulb, and you're saving 98% of the energy. The heat loss is pretty minimal. It's a 2 watt bulb. There's virtually no power going to it whatsoever. Um, as you can see there, it's excellent. So the, the heat loss there saves you a lot of the energy. You've also got this ridge around the bottom, which disperses the heat. Um, it's LEDs as well, so the entire effect is very energy efficient. Um, some details on the product uh, I can just give you here. The average life of the bulbs are 50,000 hours, compared to this bulb, which is approximately about 1,000 hours. So when you're comparing the prices of a product, um, it's not really correct to say, well, okay, this product costs £20, this product costs a pound, um, therefore I'm going to go for the product that costs a pound. First of all, what you have to appreciate is that this bulb will have to be replaced 50 times during the life of this bulb. So straight away, you've got a cost here of £50, because you're going to need 50 of these for this bulb. So you're already making a saving. Then you have to factor in the fact that that is 98% more efficient than this bulb. So when you think about the kilowatt usage and the power consumption, overall, that bulb, over its 50,000 hour life, is going to save you about three or four hundred pounds, depending upon fluctuations and energy prices and that kind of thing. Um, some useful sort of things on this, different to CFL bulbs. This hasn't got any mercury content, so in terms of disposal, um, you don't have to worry about you know, taking it to the tip in that kind of sense. Um, some other things that you've got to think about, obviously the heat, so there is no heat to it, um, which is useful because CFLs still do get reasonably hot, um, and obviously incandescents get very hot. Um, then the other thing I'd like to say, just finally, um, is that I'm a Muppet.